Hi, this is Al. I just wanted to make a video to show you a new feature we've added to iRender Next called Material Channels. Material Channels allows you to change the color of a material after rendering without having to change the material itself and re-render the whole scene. For some material changes, this can be quite a handy feature. This is a model I downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It's not very interesting because the 3D Warehouse model didn't have any materials at all. I added a couple SketchUp materials just to show you how this feature works. To change the color of a material, simply click on the material anywhere in the drawing, select Change Color, and a dialog is loaded which shows the current average color for the material. Here I'm working in HSL, Hue, Saturation, and Luminance mode, which makes it very easy to just brighten up the colors. To lighten up a color, you can take the luminance slider and move it to the right just to make the color brighter. If you want to change the color of another material while the dialog's up, simply click on the material. Here I'm going to click on the panels on the back wall. They have a fabric on them, which is currently fairly gray. I'm going to switch from HSL mode to RGB mode, which lets you change the red, green, and blue colors directly. And I'm going to just make this fabric more blue by sliding the blue slider to the right. You can see how this affects the color of the panel by making the panel more blue. Now select the brick on the back wall and make it more red by sliding the red slider to the right. Material Channels works pretty well for just making some minor touch-ups to your drawing. There are a couple of caveats. First of all, it affects only the color of the material as you see it and not the color of any light reflected from the material. This would have a profound effect and make it almost unusable if the material were reflected in a mirror. And another caveat is that these color changes aren't saved into the materials themselves and won't apply next time you re-render. However, you can save your material channel settings with the load and save buttons here at the bottom of the dialog. This would allow you to save the color changes you made, apply them to a later rendering, or even apply them to a rendering of another model. So again, for just touching up some colors after rendering, material channels can be a very valuable feature to add to your rendering arsenal. To try this out, download the latest version of iRender Next from our website, render your model, click on a material in the model, select Change Color, load the Material Channels dialog, and use the slider bars to change the colors of your materials.